What's a DHT derivative and what are examples? So a DHT derivative, to keep it super basic, is a molecule that's been derived from DHT. It's not DHT though, this is key. It doesn't act like DHT. A lot of people confuse things like Mastron and Primobolum, which are both DHT derivatives to be the same as DHT. For example, in the hair loss debate, you know, because we know DHT, which means dihydrotestosterone, is responsible for a good portion of uh, androgenic alopecia, not all mm. of it though. Androgens mm. in and of themselves play a part. Scalp inflammation, et cetera, we won't get into that. But um, DHT derivatives like primobolin and Mastron are excellent choices when it comes to, we say, reasonable amount of safety data. You know, they're both approved for human use. Mm -hmm. They're both used in clinical settings. We've got decades of high quality literature of their use in humans, which is generally what I would prefer when it comes to compound selection, to be able to draw some reasonable, we'll say, outcome-based assessments. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm not a fan of research chemicals in general, but I would say you can base that on your own personal risk factor. You know, I wouldn't personally want to use something that has maybe made it to a single trial in a rodent. Better to use know? something with many human trials. Yeah.